Today we're taking a look at the Firefighter Wedge. Hi, I'm Matt Hinkle and today we're taking a look at the Firefighter Wedge. This is a really interesting wedge design, much different than the classic wooden wedge that a lot of us have used. So it's made from a glass fiber reinforced with a nylon resin. It makes it really strong and really lightweight. And it's also a patented design. So this wedge has an I-beam type construction, which makes it a little hollowed out uh, and makes it lighter instead of one solid piece, but it also keeps its strength by that I-beam type shape. Uh, and you'll also notice there's these ridges that run the length of the wedge on both sides. That allows the wedge to do a few things other wedges can't, which is lock. Uh, and what that does is when you go to set this into a jam, in between the seam of a door, you can actually snap it in place. And where typical wedges, when the door gets bumped, will fall out because it just increases the size of that opening and the wedge doesn't stay put, this wedge tends to stay in the same spot because these grooves hold it uh, in that location, wherever you snapped it in. So one of the easiest ways to do this is stick it into the opening of the jam, snap it in place, and then let it ride right on top of the middle hinge. Uh, and that really keeps the door open uh, and keeps it from flexing and falling out because the, the wedge is locked into that, that slot. The second way you can do it is place the wedge at the bottom of the door. That's kind of a classic way of using a wedge, but a lot of times what you notice with a wooden wedge or other wedges is the door rides out from under you. So you set your wedge, but then if the door has any, any strength to it or an automatic closing mechanism, the door just shuts anyway and your wedge slides across the ground, so it doesn't work. This allows you to actually lift up on the door and kind of jerk, and it'll snap in place on one of these ridges. And it's actually pretty, pretty tough when you actually set the wedge to get the wedge out from underneath the door. You actually have to kind of lift the door to get it out from under there when you're finished using it because it snaps in place and it really push, pushes a lot of pressure on the bottom of the wedge to keep the door from sliding. Then the last place you really would never be able to use another wedge is you can place it straight up above you in the notch where the door meets the jam at the very top because uh, it will actually snap in place up there. So a lot of your really hard to get to, really tight seam at the bottom doors or doors that are really hard to fit a wedge in between the seam and the jam of the door, you can go to the top and lock it in up there. So pretty cool how it works. When you combine more than one wedge, then you get the real advantages of the wedge. So two wedges allow the wedge to interlock, and it gives you a few options. One is, a lot of times on exterior doors, the door will ride straight over the top of your wedge because outside the ground or the, the sidewalk or whatever you have may be lower than where the door is positioned. So you can actually lock two of these wedges together and you double your height. So now your wedge can reach four inches instead of two inches and that may give you enough clearance to chock a door open that's actually set higher uh, than a typical interior door. The other thing it allows you to do is kind of face the wedges opposite of one another and it creates uh, basically a widening wedge. It's kind of when you interlock two wedges together as you push them together the width of the wedge or the wedges together increases the more and more you push it. So you can actually set this in a piano hinge type uh, door where you wouldn't be able to actually stick a door through the seam or the wedge through the seam. You would be able to place these vertically and lock them together. So as you snap it and flex the door, they'll get stuck at some point, whatever the width of that, that space is and it'll hold your door open. So if you're looking for these wedges, we actually carry them on our website. So you can go to our website store and purchase the wedges however you would like. I wanna show you a few of the options that we carry so that you can see what, what's available. The first one is just the individual wedge. So you can buy one wedge by itself, fits in a turnout pocket or on your helmet, uh, and that's a lightweight, easy to use wedge. It fits in a pocket really easily, five and a quarter inches long, two inches high, one inch wide. Um, so it's nice to have, but I really don't think you get the full advantage until you get more than one. Because once you get the second wedge, then they interlock. So you can get wedges, you can buy them individually and get however many you want, or you can buy a package. And the package comes in a bag. Uh, we carry the black wedges with the yellow decals. Um, so you can get a pack of four, and what that does, it comes with a, a quick release system. It comes with a little carabiner, three millimeter cordage that goes into the, to the, each wedge, and then a quick release um, little clasp that's actually designed to go with these wedges. So the way it works, is you can hang this carabiner on any piece of equipment. You can hang it on a stretcher uh, for a lot of, when you're carrying patients in and out, you can chalk doors as you go in and out of the, the building or the structure. You can hang them on rip packs. So rapid intervention crews are finding out these are really handy to not only chalk things open, but also mark locations. 
Um, so they can hang them over a doorknob or something like that. You know that, that you have been there or searched that room. So pretty neat way to do it. But all you do, each one of these uh, wedges is attached to the carabiner with a quick release. So all you have to do is pull it and it comes out of that release. You don't have to fumble with gloved hands. When you're wearing a gloved hand, you can just pull it and it pops right off. So this is the last option that we have, and this is really neat. This is a new option called the AWOGS. Uh, so this is a way, of, a way of getting seen. It's a photoluminescent decals on here. So we can, we can sell these in the kit of four, and they glow in the dark. They absorb that light energy, and they stay lit for a pretty long time. So what you can do with these, you can mark locations really easily, but it also helps you identify where you, where you placed your wedge last. So a lot of times you'll walk right by a wedge and forget that you had it sitting there, these glowing wedges are a lot more identifiable, so easier to see and easier to find when you're ready to leave. So you can check them out on our website. If you're looking for it, it's www.boxalarmtraining.com. We'll provide a link above, and you can click on that to go to the store and look at some of the different wedges that we have. Um, so you can get them in the individual, the four packs, and you can also get the four pack in a black and yellow or a black and AWOGS, the photoluminescent decals. So don't forget to check out the rest of our free training resources, our Facebook page, uh, we're on Twitter, and our YouTube channel. We have tons of training videos on there. So check it out and let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.